For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant. He's the one that run with me. <laughs> they throw down your altars, Lord. And they slay the prophets with the sword. And, and I'm the only one that's left, Lord. And they seek my life to take it away. There ain't nobody left but me. Do you ever feel like that? Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> Because God showed me tonight somebody that 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 felt like, that feels that way. Amen. Hallelujah. You feel like you've been deserted tonight. He said, "I'm the only one that's left, and they seek my life to take it away." And He said, "Go forth, Elijah, and stand." Upon the mount before the Lord. And behold the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind. Rent the mountains and broke it into pieces. The rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake. There was a fire. But the Bible says that the Lord. Was not in the fire. Elijah kept going to the mouth of the cave. And after the fire, there was a still, small voice. Amen. Just a still, small voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle. And he went out, and he stood in the entering end of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, Elijah, said it again. What doest thou here, Elijah? I didn't want you to come here to start with. But he spoke in a small, still voice to Elijah, hiding in a cave. But you know, I was thinking, he said in verse 10, I'm the only one left, Lord. Everybody else has been killed but me. I've been very jealous for you, Lord. And I'm the only one left, and they seek my life to take it away. But verse 18 of that chapter, if you'll look at that. Let's just read 17 and 18. And it came to pass that him that escaped the sword of Hazel shall Jehu slay, and him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. But he told him here, he said, Yet, Elijah, you're not alone. He said, I've got 7,000 in Israel whose all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which has not kissed him. See, you, you, you're feeling lonely tonight. You feel deserted tonight. You feel like there's no help for you tonight. Amen. But God's got hosts of angels around you. God's got mighty angels protecting you tonight. God's got angels around your house. Amen. God's got angels around your automobile when you're driving. Amen. God's got a protection around you continuously. But God said, I want you to come out of the cave. I, I don't want you to become a cave dweller. I don't want you to get stuck in the cave uh, to where I can't use you. Uh, I want you to come out of the cave uh, and I want you to, to do what I've called you to do. Uh, and he was uh, Elijah. Amen. Was working with 12 oxen, 12 yoke of oxen. Uh, amen. In the chapter on over there. Uh, amen. And when God called him, amen, and he was to go with Elisha. You remember Elisha, amen. Uh, he, Elisha, amen, was the one, amen, that Elijah, amen, was being prepared for uh, because Elijah was getting ready to be took up by a chariot of fire. Hallelujah. And Elisha was going to be left behind, uh, amen. Uh, this 
something in this here tonight. God is trying, amen, to get somebody to come out of the cave tonight because you got a blessing, amen, that only you can give to somebody else in their life tonight, amen. And the devil has been fighting you and been getting to keep you, amen, a drug down, stuck in a cave, amen, where God wants you to come out to where you can be a blessing to whatever he wants you to be a blessing to. Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And we all know the story, amen, of how Elijah and Elisha, man, and how that he followed him everywhere he went because he told him, hey, amen, that he was going to be taken away that day. He said, I'm going to be taken away. And if you see me, when I go taken away, he said, you'll get a double portion of my spirit. Hallelujah. You get a double portion of my spirit. Glory to God. And did you know he stuck right with him. And he stayed right with him. And all at once, Brother Bill, there was a, a fire, fiery chariot, amen, in horses. It came down out of heaven. Fires, and it came and it swept Elijah up. And it took him to heaven. And he was found no more. Glory to God. And Elisha picked up Elijah's mantle. In other words, his, his robe, his jacket, amen. And he had a double portion of his spirit. And he went over and he smoked the waters and the waters parted and he walked through on dry land. <laughs> Hallelujah. God has got a blessing for you tonight and God's got a blessing for someone that he wants to use you in tonight. Amen. If you'll just come out of the cave and let God bless you tonight. Amen. 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 So you need to just come out. The enemy has got you all sucked down. You're lonely. You don't feel like you can help anyone else. But God's saying, I've got this for you if you'll come out of the cave tonight. Would you come out of the cave tonight? Amen. Amen. Let's stand together. I feel we need to pray. I feel we need to come out of the cave.